Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pure Ice Lighted Up. I'm going to do some fluid nail art using Dance Legend Spot It. I've started off with Meltix Formula 2 and Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. And here is the limited edition Light It Up by Pure Ice. This was sent to me by my friend Shannon. Thank you Shannon. So I'm going to go in with my first coat of this. I am going to end up doing two coats. Although... In hindsight, I realized I could have totally got away with just one, but we're going to go ahead and do two. And it's one of those frosty polishes that I would not consider one of my favorite finishes, but this one's really pretty because it's like this kind of gray white and it's got shimmer to it. So it really does work well for, for what we're using it for today. It is my base color. Um, in the end, you're really not going to see much of this look right here. I am topping it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to get it to dry down. A lot of people ask why I use different top coats. I like to use this one because it's rather thin and dries pretty quick. Um, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to my manicure. So if I'm doing a layered, multi-stacked, layered kind of manicure, I like to use this. So... That's what we're doing today. I'll be also using Light It Up along with some China Glaze, Manhunt, Exotic Encounters, and Jungle Queen for my Fluid Manny. And the Dance Legend Spot It in Black. It's one of those um, cell forming polishes. So I'm going to do out a strip of the Light It Up by Pure Ice. Um, kind of a thick layer. I'm going to want to have a, a nice base to do these um, decals that I'm making so I don't have trouble thinking. So I'm going in with the first one and I'm just putting dots randomly all down over that base coat that I've got going on on my mat. Jungle Queen with that purple which has like a lot of shimmer and stuff in it. Um... And this ends up being a rather dark manicure, which I guess I was just in the mood for. I had a lot of polishes out of my desk. I had lots of choices, and I ended up going with these because they just, they were saying they wanted to be used. So I said, okay. So there we go with that Exotic Encounters. The blue was Manhunt. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. And now I'm going to go in and put a little bit of more of this lighted up throughout it and I might should have put more I don't know you just you know and then now with the dance legend and I don't know where these are available I think I might have got mine from color for nails and I do know that it comes in other colors I would love to get their white so I'm going to take my mat and I'm going to mush it one way and then flip it the other way and you can see it being all fluid and it's forming cells so I'll let this dry under my regular nail dryer for about an hour uh, to let it dry. And there's, it's still quite sticky, but it's not wet sticking to the mat. It's just very, very pliable. I love it when I can time this just right and get these. And you'll see me struggle a little bit because on some of the sides it's a little thin. But I love it when I can get them this pliable because they mold to the nail so much better. And they're just so much easier to apply. Of course, you see it's trying to apply to my finger right there. So I'm just kind of, kind of work around this decal, this huge, huge decal that I have made. I am using my uh, cuticle tool to help occasionally. And then I peel it up all nice and easy without stretching it out too bad. So there we have the big one. We're going to cut this down. I'm going to pick out spots that I like that have good cell formations. Um, and I'm just going to trim out five fingernail sized um, pieces. A little bit bigger than my fingernails because I don't... One of them I do cut it a little close. I mean there's a little bitty line on the side of my nail that didn't get covered. But that's okay. I really do love playing with the fluid nail art. I wish I could figure out how to do it with the silicon spray, you know, like WD-40 or something like that. 
you know, I bought the stuff. I've, I've tried to play with it. I, so far, I have not been able to get it to work for me. So, we'll keep playing with it. And as soon as I get it right, I'll share it with you. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm trying to figure out what pieces of this I want on which nails. And I'm just trimming it down with my little pinchy scissors. I love my pinchy scissors because I can cut with either hand with them. Since I am right-handed, it's sometimes difficult to cut with my left hand. But today I'm cutting with my right hand, so it's all good. And then I need a little bitty piece for my pinky. And then the other part of it will be for another finger. So now I'm laying them out um, by size, like for which finger I want to put them on. And um, we're going to get started. I'm going to be using that Pro FX Sticky Base coat. And I'm going to do one nail at a time so it stays rather sticky. Now you can see I've got some dings in my base polish. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. But it's okay because we're fixing to cover it up and you're not even going to be able to see it. So I'm figuring out which way I want to put it on there. And then I put it in place and start mushing it down to the nail, trying to make sure I get out any air bubbles or wrinkles or anything that might, you know, cause me to go crazy later. And there I go using my left hand and my pinchy scissors to trim off some more of that decal. And look how nice it's forming on that nail. I mean, it's just lovely. I'm going to take that clear cuticle pusher and just go around the edges and break that excess off that I'm not going to need. It just kind of cuts it off without hurting my nail or my cuticle or my skin or anything. I use good pressure, but I'm not going just wicked crazy. And I know there are times in this video where you're thinking, ooh, she's pushing so hard, but it's really not, um, it's not that hard. I didn't hurt myself at all doing this. But it does make for easy cleanup when you can get most of it off this way. Or you could just, you know, do do like I do at the end of the video. I'll show you how I clean up with the acetone um, on my pinky nail. I did do my thumb and my middle finger off camera. Um, this video is already rather long, so. Um, but I am going to show you. I did the pointer, and I'll be doing the ring finger and the pinky on on camera today. Now this is the one that I got just a little too short on the side, but it's okay. Because the color that's peeking out over there on that side is in the in the decal, so I think it's it's going to be okay. Which is why I like to use my base color be one of the colors that's in the design. That way, if some of it does peek out or we got an issue, it doesn't just jump out at you as bad. There we go. A little more trimming. Sorry, I'm out of frame. And now that we've got some more trimming done, we're going to go back in with that cuticle pusher and just kind of break that excess off. The camera getting a little fuzzy looking. I apologize. Like there, it looked like I was really, really going crazy pushing hard, but I swear I wasn't. I know I hurt myself, I promise. There we go. And now on to the pinky nail. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm fixing to show you something. Okay, you see me mushing it and pushing it and tapping and mushing and squishing. Well, I end up rubbing the end of it off. See? Let me show you how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to take one of these little pieces of leftover decal, just a little scrap, and I'm just tapping it right over. And you know what? Nobody would ever know. And that's a nice little trick to have in your bag when you're fixing a manicure. Because I was not going to be redoing all of that, let me tell you. So that worked out really well. Um, I don't feel a lump. There's not a line or anything. It just blends in really, really nicely with the whole other piece of, you know, the decal. And again, going around with that cuticle pusher and cutting off some of this excess. And there we go. Got a little stubborn piece there. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and acetone. You could use the regular nail polish remover for this. It's all about preference. I do tap flat side of my brush up against that tip of the nail. You'll see me do that several times. Um, I like to get that nice and smooth. I don't want it catching on anything. And 
just and I do kind of tap the brush a little bit around the edge of that decal to help melt it down to the nail better. I always go underneath and clean up at the best I can. And there we are tapping on the end some more. Like I said, that's a big, big pet peeve of mine um, is to have something clumpy and catching on stuff. It just, it wears me out. So I try to do a really good job on that cleanup when I do decals. But using that flat side of the brush seems to work really well for me. And I'm getting in up under that nail. Tap, tap, tap. Get all this extra goop off. It's a messy, messy job. So there you go. Look. I am really pleased with them. So I'm going to top this with some posh top coat. Seal this all in. And I just love it. I've got three swatch photos today because I could not pick a favorite. And as usual, um, I would like to hear your thoughts on this manicure. Leave me a comment down below. I always love chatting with you. And here we go with the swatch photos. That thumb. And then the four fingers. <laughs> and then all of them. So I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.